Hello, I'm Jane from Loopy's Place and today I'm not in my studio, I'm in my home sewing room. Um, it's quite nice being able to swap and change between the two depending on what I'm working on. Uh, today I wanted to come back, um, this is a project I've got a feeling actually I started it last year. Um, I got some uh, heat and bond liquid vinyl and I at the time treated some fabric so I bought the product, um, I treated some fabric, um, I'll put a link above here to the videos where I'm introducing the product um, and I finally after tidying up last week and finding the bits for it I finished making the bag that I was going to make so this is what I've made. So it's a little bag to put my lunch in for work. Um, I wanted to use the liquid vinyl um, to be able just to wipe clean the fabric um, after being used. So as I said I did the um, introductory videos quite some time ago. So I've just talked through some of the um, processes that I used to make it and my thoughts as I went. So, depending on how much of the product you put on, um, very, it can change the feel of the fabric. One layer, it just is water and stain proof. Um, put two layers on and you can wipe it clean. If you put three layers on, it um, becomes more like oil cloth. So obviously the more you put on, it has more of a coated feel and that sometimes can make it difficult to go through your machine. Um, I use my walking foot, but I've got the Juki, it's a um, quite heavy weight machine. So I had no problem sewing through the layers, even on the handles where I got for eight layers of fabric. Um, so the only issues that I had was getting the bulky bits underneath the um, walking foot at the back because obviously it doesn't slide like normal fabric would do. I've still got to um, trim off my ends. I haven't folded over the edges here twice. It's not going to fray because of the coating I put on it. However, if I was to do it again, I'd probably do it fold it under twice just for the way that it looks. Uh, right, so how did I do it? So I built it up piece by piece um, and then I did these edges on afterwards. Um, so like this like French seams but it's on the outside rather than the inside. So there are no raw edges inside. The handles, just to make a change and make it decorative, I had the fabric folded it off, pressed it, opened it up, folded the outside edges into the centre, folded it in half, I did top stitching down both sides, then what I did was I folded it in half apart from a two inch bit at the bottom where it now opens up and goes flat and I've been able to attach that there by stitching a um, square with a cross inside so that the handles are well attached. So the handles are quite thin so, um, which is quite nice when you're carrying lots of things around it's quite nice not to have the thickness on there. I haven't had chance to use it yet so when we go back to work um, I'll be using that. Um, and it'd be just nice to have a separate bag just to put my lunch things in. Um, I can get my water bottle in there plus um, some containers that have got my food in. So I'm looking forward to using that. So having used the heat and bond liquid vinyl, would I use it again? Yes, probably. For me, the advantage of it is that you can make things out of your own fabric. You can choose your fabric, um, if they, especially if you're in an area where there isn't a wide choice of um, oil cloth available. On the instructions, it does say it's better with a close um, weave of fabric. I did this on a canvas and I'm quite happy with the results on it. When you seal it um, with the iron, it fills in those gaps, so whereas you would have been able to see through those gaps, you can't. The product has melted nicely in and sealed those holes. Um, 
I used um, bacon parchment to protect the surface that I was ironing on and the iron. I uh, had no problems using that so I used that underneath as well when I was painting on. So I think for something that size I'd probably get another one or two possibly out of the packet. You do use quite a bit because um, obviously it's absorbing into the fibres. I do hope that's useful, um, especially for those that were watching at the beginning and wanted to know what the thoughts were and how it sewed. I had no problems at all. Um, didn't even change my needle. I used the same needle as I have been. Just used my walking foot and uh, that was it. No problems at all. If you have a go, um, if you've got some projects that you've made, do share them with us. Put your comments below. Look forward to hearing about them there. Do subscribe to my channel, if you click the bell below it will give you notifications when new um, content is added. I have a new series you'll have seen come in with the um, Handmade Home, look forward to sharing those projects with you, um, some tutorials and patterns will be coming from that. Um, and obviously you keep up with our work in progress Wednesdays, I'll keep you updated with everything that's happening. So I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. In the meantime, do take care. Bye for now.